Number one, use the place value chart and arrows to show how the value of each digit changes. The first one has been done for you. So as you can see in the first one, they had five, four, and 582 thousandths times 10. So they put their four and 582 thousandths in there. They're multiplying by 10, which is 10 to the 10 is equal to 10 to the first power, one power of 10. And so we moved our digits one place to the left to make it 45 and 82 hundredths. So in the part B, we start with seven and 281 thousandths. This time we're multiplying by 100. Now 100 is equal to 10 times 10, which is equal to 10 to the second power. So this means we're going to be moving two spaces to the left this time. So we can draw our arrows, two spaces. It could get a little messy in here. We end up with 728 and 1 tenth. Part C, now we have 9 and 254 thousandths. This time it is times 1,000. So 1,000 is equal to 10 times 10 times 10, which is 10 to the third power, which means we're moving three places to the left this time. So all our arrows, three spots. Oops, I think this one's supposed to be all the way over. All the way. So we get 9,000 254. And there's nothing behind the decimal point. You don't need to put those zeros there, but sometimes it can help you see that everything has been moved into the whole place values. So you get 9,254 there. Explain how and why the value of the two changed in A, B, and C. Well, in A, two starts over here in the thousandths place. We move it one space to the left, it ends up in the hundredths place, so it got 10 times larger. In part B, the two starts here in the tenths place. We move it two places over. It ends up in the tens place. That's two places over, which is 100 times greater. And in part C here, we move the two starts in the tenths place. It moves all the way over here to the hundredths place, which means we've moved three places, which is 1,000 times greater. So you can kind of write your own explanation there in your own words of what we just talked about. Number two, use the place value chart and arrows to show how the value of each digit changes. The first one has been done for you. Now here we are dividing. So since we're dividing by 10, 10's a whole number, it's gonna get smaller. So every time when we're dividing by a whole number, 10, we're gonna be moving the digits to the right. So here in the first one, we are dividing by just 10, 10 to the first power, so we move one place to the right. Here we have 678 divided by 100. 100, again, like we talked about before, is 10 to the second power because it is 10 times 10. So we're moving over two spots. We get six and 78 hundredths. Part C, we have 67 divided by 1,000. Now 1,000 is 10 to the third power, 10 times 10 times 10, three places. We're moving three places to the right, getting smaller. So there's six, seven. Now in this one, you're gonna wanna put a zero there. Since it's behind the decimal point, we need to fill in that tenths place. So we end up with zero and 67 thousandths. So how did the value change? Value of the six change? Well, in part A, it starts in the hundredths place, ends in the thousandths place, it got 10 times smaller. Part B starts in the hundredths place, ends in the ones place, got 100 times smaller, two places over. Part C starts in the tens place, ends in the hundredths place, move over three places, it got 1,000 times smaller. All right, researchers counted 8,912 monarch butterflies on one branch of a tree at a site in Mexico. They estimated that the number of butterflies at the site was 1,000 times as large. 
about how many butterflies were in the site at all. Explain your thinking and include a statement in, of the solution. Well, if you want to imagine our place value chart like they had shown for us up there, we can kind of draw our own up here. So. Here's my decimal point. So let's start. Let's start it out with 8,912. And they think that the estimated number was 1,000 times as large. Well, since we're getting bigger, we're going to be moving to the left. It's getting times, 1,000 times as large. So we're going to be multiplying. Now, we're moving to the left, which means I don't have enough spaces on here, so I'm just going to add. How many spaces are we moving? Well, 1,000 is 10 to the third power, so we're moving three spots. This is getting really messy. Sorry, guys. So, if we have, end up with 8 million... 912,000. So our, you can explain your, what we just did there and include a statement of our solution. That would be 8,912 times 1,000 equals 8,912,000. The student used his place value chart to show a number. After the teacher instructed him to divide his number by 100, the chart showed 28 and 3 thousandths. Draw a picture of what the place value chart looked like at first. So he ends up with 28 and 3 thousandths. That's after he divided his number by 10. So if we want to think backwards, he's already divided. So if we want to get to where he started, let's do the opposite and multiply by 100. Now if we multiply by 100 again, we're going to be moving up and we're moving up two spots so to the right two places everything's going so we get 28 what does that say 2803 tenths so that's what he started with and you can explain right there, how we decided what to draw on our chart, explain your reasoning, like what I just talked about there. On a map, the perimeter of a park is 251 thousandths meters. The actual perimeter of the park is 1,000 times as large. What is the actual perimeter of the park? Explain how you know using a place value chart. So, I like it when they give us the place value charts, but you know what? They're not always going to give us a place value chart. So, let's draw our own. Okay spot for my decimals there. So the perimeter shows 251,000. We have 1,000 times as large. So times, it's getting larger, which means our decimals are going to be moving to the left because we're multiplying by a whole number, 1,000. If we were multiplying by a decimal, things change. But we're multiplying by a whole number here, so everything's moving to the left. We're going to move three places to the left because we have 1,000, which is 10 to the third power. So everything's moving three spots. And we're going to end up with 251. So the actual perimeter of the park is 251 meters. All right, all finished. Thanks for watching.